So the water that's uh, being used for the trial is uh, up to 500 litres a second, um, which compared to um, the amount of water uh, in, in the district is actually a pretty small amount. Um, but it's, it's for a trial purpose, and, and one of the key things we've got to be aware of um, through, uh, through the operation is you don't want to put too much water in the ground um, that, such that you end up with uh, um, the, the ground getting saturated or even getting flooded. Um, I don't suppose we'd, we'd put enough water into the ground for it to flood, but you could affect the groundwater levels sufficiently high such that um, low-lying ground, if there was a major rainfall event, could flood. So we've got to be, that's what one of the, the, the concerns that the community has had is that we're going to be putting too much water into the ground. I don't think 500 litres a second will, will actually make that much difference, particularly this year when we've got some very, very low groundwater levels because it's been so dry uh, for, for at least the last two years. So I think there's enough capacity um, in, in the groundwater aquifers to absorb 500 litres um, quite quickly. Um, I, I, I'm not concerned, um, but come winter time, and if we have a lot of a lot of rainfall over the winter period, that may be something. And there are some trigger levels um, that that have been worked on um, that would uh, would stop the trial from uh, or temporarily put a uh, put a halt on the trial, just to make sure that the groundwater levels don't uh, get oversaturated, and we do end up causing problems uh, further down the catchment.